Hello, my name is David Decker. I am the Director of Business Intelligence at Key Performance Ideas. And today, we're going to talk about extending your ePBCS or PBCS reporting solution with Oracle Analytics Cloud. Just a little bit about my background. I have 20 years of information management experience with expertise specifically in business intelligence and data warehouse using the Oracle suite of tools. I have provided consulting services to companies across a wide range of industries, including Expedia, Aramark, and Raymond James Financial. The goal of our presentation today is to showcase how Oracle Analytics Cloud will enable advanced reporting from EPBCS and PBCS cubes and allow us to drill into detail level relational data and to explore other advanced reporting and data visualization capabilities. We'll start with a little bit of an overview over PBCS, then we're going to take a look at the, what OAC provides, talk some about integration, and then we're going to take a look at Oracle standard pricing for these products. So the first question you might ask is, do I want OAC or PBCS? For the sake of this presentation, we're saying, how about both? Why not have PBCS to do what it does best, planning and budgeting, and Oracle Analytics Cloud to provide that enterprise level of reporting? Let's talk a little bit about business needs. So what we're trying to accomplish here is to combine and normalize both operational and financial data into one centralized reporting solution and greatly, greatly expand the analytical capabilities of all of your enterprise-wide data sources. And we want to also be able to empower your executives to make better decisions through deep dive analysis, give them the ability to drill to detail, or just quickly check their dashboards for the answers that they may need. When we think about PBCS reporting, it does provide intuitive reporting, an intuitive reporting interface if you love Excel. It has very limited options on charts and graphs and other visualizations, basically whatever you can find in Excel. Um, it has some limited drill through capabilities. You can set up a, a single level of drilling. Uh, it will not report from multiple data sources. You can only report from the PBCS cubes in the smart view uh, reporting tool. It's great for what it's intended to do, and that's planning and budgeting. Smart view is the preferred ex uh, reporting tool in PBCS. It gives us that uh, Excel interface, which is great for your financial people. Uh, a lot of people love Excel. However, not necessarily how the entire company wants to report on the data. It allows you the ability to have intimate knowledge of your data and build reports very quickly, but uh, can be confusing for some. Also, uh, the financial reporting uh, platform for PBCS does allow you to create those pixel perfect reports and do some bursting, uh, which is great for financial statements, but again, it's pretty basic. Now let's take a look at Oracle Analytics Cloud. When we talk about Oracle Analytics Cloud, we're really talking about a data-driven solution. Oracle Analytics Cloud wants to consume all of the data across your enterprise. It can use data flow to take data and combine it or, or clean it as you may need. Uh, it has a great ability for data discovery uh, when you can present everything from your company all in one place, a lot of times some answers that you've been looking for become clear very easily. Uh, it has multiple data visualizations across a, a number of different uh, tools in the cloud that allow you to create dashboards, create um, ad hoc queries, etc. And um, because it's all uh, takes your d data and makes it uh, exist in one unified place, it's very easy to have data collaboration where you can create that report, publish it to a dashboard. Everyone can then immediately consume the data that's in that report. So 
there's no emailing things back and forth and saving spreadsheets. It's, it's all centralized, located in one place. The BI Publisher tool in Analytics Cloud is uh, the Pixel Perfect reporting tool. It allows you to create interactive reports that can also be used as static reports that we can burst out to uh, our consumers. Uh, it allows you to write queries in the native languages such as SQL or MDX against SBase, uh, but it also has the ability to create reports using drag and drop functionality through the OAC semantic layer. Um, you can also deliver reports online uh, in any of the Microsoft suite of tools and PDF. The data visualization tool has drag and drop capability that we can leverage either the, again, OAC semantic layer, or if we have a direct data access through a native or ODBC connection, it will allow that ability and build those queries uh, directly against whichever database you're pulling from. It has an amazing number of charts and graphs and visualizations that seems to be expanding every day. Um, it can also leverage that, as I said, OBI semantic layer um, and will allow us to combine data from multiple sources. Let's say we have a spreadsheet of budget data that we want to combine with something out of a relational database or s -based. We can pull those into the data visualization tool, manually create that connection and then immediately begin exploring that data. This allows us a very quick way to do data mashups where maybe we have two separate spreadsheets that we just want to have a look at how that data matches. All you need is that one column that will tell you how to connect those two pieces of information and you can start working. Um, and it's very user friendly. It's very, very quickly can you get up on this tool and start building some visualizations and mashups, etc. The business intelligence dashboard tool uh, will allow us to leverage on-premise and cloud data sources. It also uh, will allow you to combine data to form an overall picture of your business. Uh, you can have as many data sources as you have in your business if you want to combine your time card and payroll data with your financial data and your manufacturing data. You can bring that all into the semantic layer and, and uh, create dashboards and visualizations that give you that overall business picture. Um, we can simplify that data in that semantic layer for an optimized end user experience by using common business language to identify your data elements instead of having your users or expecting your users to have that intimate knowledge of the names of the tables and columns in your database or in your S-based cubes. Um, it will allow us to store complex calculations and business rules uh, so that you can simply pull them in and immediately have uh, whatever that complex calculation will, you can just get the result instead of having to write a new calculation every time you create a report. Um, it enables our power users to create reports through, again, through drag and drop, uh, and it can create very powerful visualizations very quickly uh, with dashboards that will interact with each other and navigate or drill to whatever level of detail you choose. It's, uh, again, as I said, drill down capable, even between data sources, and that's one of the great keys here, is that you can drill from a summarized S-Base cube all the way down into five levels of detail in your relational database. So that brings a lot of power to data exploration. When we look at the standard OAC architecture, it has two sort of columns, or as they refer to them in Oracle, two OCPUs, two separate servers that you have to purchase for the full enterprise reporting suite. And that is the day-by-day -day mobile solution, the DVCS uh, data mashup ad hoc query solution, BI Publisher for our pixel perfect and bursting reporting, OBI for our dashboards. Then on the second server, we have our s base cubes. And of course, it provides that smart view tool. However, you don't necessarily have to purchase this this way. 
So what, what I, the point of this presentation is, instead of purchasing these two OCPUs, why not leverage SmartView and SBase out of your PVCS platform and simply buy the visualization side of Oracle Analytics Cloud? Why might we want to do that? Well, OAC is going to provide that enterprise reporting solution. You've got that advanced semantic layer to do the common business language and uh, enable your users to have uh, stored business calculations. Um, we can combine that disparate data across your enterprise. Every piece of data in your enterprise can now be consumed into this solution. We can leverage your on-premise and cloud data sources as necessary. Um, it provides that complete package of reporting tools and has those executive dashboards that we were talking about. But the most important thing being, it has real-time connectivity to your PBCS solution. It's the only visualization tool that has direct connectivity to PBCS and ePBCS. E this allows you to view your data live. If you use another third-party visualization tool, what you get is the ability to download your data and then upload it to that tool. In this case, we're leveraging that data directly into uh, OAC. When we look at PBCS in Oracle Analytics Cloud, um, we have a basic report here. This report is created uh, directly off of our demo environment that, of course, we'd be happy to show you if you want to uh, schedule us for a demo. And this is live PBCS data. Um, this, again, is a very basic um, dashboard with a couple of visualizations where we can see on the left-hand side we have uh, data that data that we showed before from the FR tool and on the right-hand side, we have that same data from Oracle Analytics Cloud. And as we can see, that's identical numbers. This data is live directly from the SBase cube. So we can pull that data in. You make a change in ePBCS. You have a, a refresh. And that data is live immediately in every dashboard and report you've designed in OAC. It allows us to leverage the same data Metadata from PBCS, changes from PBCS again will be shown immediately in OAC. All hierarchies and calculations will be the same. There's no data movement whatsoever. Also, as we mentioned, you can combine dashboards. If you look across this dashboard, you can see some titles here where we have SBase combined with relational objects. We have some uh, different relational data here on the left-hand side. This is, this is a funnel graph based off of SBase. And what's key here is that those filters on the left-hand side of the screen uh, will interact with every report together. So even though this is a combined and blended dashboard from multiple different data sources, once I choose to eliminate 2013, all data in that dashboard will immediately eliminate 2013. So you can have data from all your different data sources showing a complete business picture in one dashboard. So you can immediately drill from this dashboard to whatever detail you need to help you run your business. It provides a full suite of mapping functionality, visualizations, this is uh, an example of some of the basic visualizations you can do out of data visualization. And you can see um, there are many more. This is just a sample out of the hundred different visualizations that you might want to create. And there's more. We could, co we could show you an entire uh, webinar just on all of the different visualizations available across this suite of tools and they're increasing every day. There's always more uh, separate visualizations, heat maps and uh, line bar graphs, and waterfall charts and everything you could imagine uh, is available in this tool. Let's take a look at Oracle pricing. 
All the pricing that I'm talking about today is simply list pricing that we've pulled straight from the web. So this is available on the Oracle website if you ever want to go look that up or be reminded of it. Um, this isn't uh, some funny business with, with discounts or anything else. This is just straight pricing from the web for this example. Um, Oracle has a new flexible pricing model, and that model charges by the hour. They have two versions of it. One is the pay-as-you-go model, uh, and one is the monthly commit model. The uh, instances must be shut down. So if you are running either the pay-as-you-go or monthly commit, in order to stop being charged, you have to stop your instance. Uh, if you leave it on overnight, that meter's running. It's like uh, the kids left the hose on in the backyard. you got to pay for that water. So if we look at the pricing uh, for, for the functionality that we're discussing, we're talking about that highlighted area called the uh, Analytics Cloud Enterprise Edition. You can see on the pay-as-you-go model, you pay about $6 an hour to use uh, OAC. Plus, you have the um, monthly flex option where you get a, about a 33% savings if you're willing to commit to purchasing a, a, a certain amount of time every month. Um, and this would be for that full suite that I showed you on the left hand side, the day by day mobile, BI publisher, uh, BI dashboards and data visualization. You would also need a database to go with this my suggestion to most of our clients is to go with the enterprise package just because it's it's so inexpensive to get that robust enterprise level Oracle database. You could choose the standard package uh, uh, Oracle database with reduced functionality, but for the amount of money that you're spending, why not have that fully functional enterprise database to allow you to possibly leverage that later, if, if not immediately. So if I look at the monthly cost, again, let's keep in mind this is just list prices off the website uh, at an average of about 730 hours a month. That's full-time usage with um, database as a service on a monthly commit charge of 53 and a half cents and OAC at $4 an hour. We're looking at an approximate cost of about $3,300 a month. That price doesn't include storage backup and other necessary features. That's going to add another couple hundred dollars there. Uh, let's call it 3500 You, of course, have to talk to your Oracle rep to get an accurate price quote. However, Oracle has come out with a new platform as a service command line utility that installs on a local machine in your business um, and, and uses a basic command line tool to schedule to turn OAC and database as a service on and off. This can help us automatically control OAC usage costs. So now we have something that's simply flicking that switch for us. So if we want it on eight hours a day, it can come in, turn your tool on at nine o'clock in the morning and turn it off at 5 p.m. So if we looked at that monthly cost, which would average about 216 hours a month times those prices, we get an approximate cost of $1,000. That's a pretty robust suite of tools for 1000 bucks a month. And if we compare it to the old pricing model, uh, really gives us a lot of bang for our buck. I think in most cases it might be cheaper than the uh, support costs that we've used previously. Um, again, that price estimate doesn't include block storage, which is going to add a couple hundred dollars. If you'd like a look into OAC for a deeper dive. We have recorded previously a webinar where we did a live demonstration of data visualization and uh, the dashboards that we've been talking about in this presentation. And we've provided the website here. Or if you'd like, please feel free to co contact myself, David Decker, or Greg Olma at Key Performance Ideas. Thank you for your time. Uh, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call.